When I was first looking up how to study for the SJT, I was very confused. Some people were suggesting a lot of different resources, others told me just to stick to the official papers, while other people just told me not to bother because it's actually a random number generator exam. In this video, I will share how I prepared and got a 44 plus, by God's grace, on my SJTs. There are already a lot of videos out there talking about the structure of the exam, so I won't go into that and rather focus on what I did to actually prepare for the exam. So timeline, I took my lab one in November and I booked for my SJT in January, but I only started studying for the SJT after Christmas, so it was just about a month or so. Resources, so there are a lot of question banks out there like eMedica or Past Test and a lot of books like the Oxford Handbook for SJTs. But if you know me, I'm quite stingy and I like to get the best results while spending the least amount of money. So the resources that I used were the GMP guidelines, the official practice papers, and YouTube videos. I heard that it can actually be more confusing if you use a lot of different resources because their reasoning might be different from the GMC, so it's always best to stick to the official resources. Now let's talk about study method. The first thing that I did was read through the GMP guidelines. I will link everything I mentioned, the resources down below so you can check it out. So I read through it, but it actually doesn't contain much because mostly it's common sense. I then tried to answer the first official paper while timing myself. I took way more than the allotted time. Timing is one of the issues in this exam, so this is what I aimed for for each section. I then went through each question and started rationalizing them. I heard that it's best to go through each question, dissect it with a friend, and try to debate the answers with a friend, but I didn't have anyone to do that with. So if I got a question wrong, I would first discuss my answers out loud, why I thought that was the best answer. Then I would look at the official correct answer and pretend that that was my original answer and start discussing why the official answer was more correct. Most of the time, this helped me understand why my answer was wrong and the official answer was correct. So basically, it's the same principle as debating with your friend, but you're doing it yourself. I then watched a couple of YouTube videos that discuss the common themes and concepts of the exam. Again, I will link them down below. After getting a better grasp on the concepts and themes, I tried answering the second official paper, timed again, and rationalized it the same way I did with the first paper. There are only three official practice papers from the UK FPO, so two of them have official answers, while the third one doesn't have any answers. I was told not to overstudy for the exam because you would start overthinking everything and you would actually do more poorly. So I went through the two papers with answers twice, and the third paper I practiced answering twice. So that's basically it. So just some last minute tips. Practice answering within the allotted time, and if you really don't know the answer, just guess it and move on. Next, remembering that you are answering as an F1, not an F2 or a registrar or a specialist, so you have to act accordingly. Also, after reading each scenario, ask yourself, what is the issue here? What concept is this question testing me on? Then find the correct answer based on that issue, because a lot of the answers can seem correct, but you have to address the main issue and find the best answer. In the MCQ questions, remember that the answers are taken together, so it's choice A and choice B. In ranking questions, on the other hand, choices are taken independently, so you have to think only choice A, but if not, then choice B. And lastly, thou shall not overstudy. So that's it. It's quite a tricky exam because a lot of the answers seem correct. But once you get a bit of practice and really fully understand what kind of answers they're trying to get from you, I'm sure you'll do great. Ask your questions away in the comment box below and good luck!